Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who went to the orthopedic surgeon with complaints of shoulder pain, and the orthopod saw that there was abnormal density on this x-ray in the humeral head. There's a subarticular region of abnormal density here, some geographic subtle area of lucency, and these funny little scattered areas of bone sclerosis, kind of whorled appearance. And the diagnosis based on this was fibrous dysplasia. There was no associated expansion, no bone deformity, which is often associated with it. And there was no history of prior trauma to explain why the abnormal density would be there. So we did an MRI scan, and the findings are consistent with fibrous dysplasia. So on this, we see a large central cystic cavity here. And around the outside, we see this rind of bone here, a little bit different than the surrounding bone. And the areas of subtle bone sclerosis we saw in the x-ray. We see these little linear black corresponding lines of increased bone density, the little cystic component over here. Again, there was no bone expansion, no deformity, and so far, no pathologic fracture. This is consistent with fibrous dysplasia, and this may be incidental because they had some other very significant findings here. We have AC arthropathy up here, the clavicle acromion, AC joint is degenerated, there's some inferior spurring, and also the acromion process, instead of coming horizontal, it has an inferior lateral tilt or lateral downsloping, and also the undersurface is broadened here, a little subcortical cystic erosion. We see the supraspinatus muscle coming over here, and then the tendon is here, and we see how the undersurface of the acromion extends into, kind of indents the supraspinatus tendon, and it's associated with a high-grade partial thickness bursal surface tear of the distal supraspinatus. And also, the bony changes here we saw on the plain film are here, and as related to repetitive impaction between the acromion um, and the humeral head. So this is a case of uh, rotator cuff tendinopathy and partial tearing associated with the abnormal configuration of the acromion. And incidentally noted again is this fibrous dysplasia of the proximal humerus. Thank you very much.